Now with this t-shirt selected, you want to select the rig. Say control P with empty groups. Now you want to select the mesh, then the shirt, then tab into weight paint, weights and transfer weights and that will be retained by name. So now if I take my rig, go into the pose mode and try moving this, you'll see that the t-shirt is moving along which is so amazing. Good evening, welcome back to In The Could. This is 25th April 2023, 6.53pm and uh, the late night code is not gonna work. Not because I didn't enjoy it, it was nice, it was very refreshing to be honest. But what happens is, A, it gets late and B, because everything is so cool and calm and sorted and I don't have this pressure mounting on my head that I have to complete this, wrap this up, I end up doing a lot of time pass for like 15-20 minutes and so the video ends up being big longer and so edit also requires time and so basically if i sleep by 11 30 in between 11 30 to 12 if i try waking up at 3 30 and 4 it leads into a massive headache which happened today but even regardless of that i did wake up today at 3 40 am i did my nickname part and then i was feeling so sleepy like even during the part i was feeling this strong headache that i slept for like an hour in between and then at seven o'clock i woke up i took snowy down i came back up i did a bit of figuring out on the situation that i had with the weight pain and everything and then again i went to sleep for my normal regular nap so this double nap situation has to be avoided which is why in the code has to be done and like signed off and like taken off my plate almost before heading to the gym with that out of the way there are two main things that i have to document today how to attach accessories or clothing to the rig of a base mesh how to use node wrangler to quickly locate all textures before that i'm going to go ahead and show you my progress for the project there are three different outfits that i have made one is an office outfit for ahana ahana is our protagonist here that's the office outfit the second is a hotel outfit which is a little different and a little uh, bloated to be honest but <clears throat> There is, a, there is some thinking that has gone behind it. And the third outfit is a camping outfit, which is kind of the most creative one in terms of accessories and boots and bag and cap. And uh, yeah, this project is a lot of fun and I'm learning a lot. And what I want to show you is my current progress here is to the point that for this particular pose or outfit, which is the office outfit, if I am in my pose mode and I move things around, the entire uh, coat and everything is moving along if i take my head here and rotate it the hair is moving like it should and the glasses are also moving along with it now in order to demonstrate how i got this to work onto clothing i'm going to do it for the second uh, outfit or let's say the third outfit that's even more interesting so i'm going to go into hana and uh, shut the office outfit and don't look at the screen for a moment just go to wireframe and i'm going to open the camping outfit oh blender shut down that has happened for the first time in a while at least since i've gotten the rtx 3060 i don't know if that last progress was saved seems like it is let me just keep this into material or i'm gonna try to go heavy on my system here so the camping outfit i'm gonna switch it on and i'm gonna switch off the office outfit Okay, so I'm going to go into my pose mode for the rig and Alt R Alt G so everything is back to normal. Now you will see what happens is this rig is controlling the base mesh. Okay, so if I'm moving the base mesh around, none of it is moving along with it. The clothing is not moving and the bag and the cap is not moving. So the way you do this, the way you figure this out for it to stick together is uh, I don't think I need to make myself small because there's nothing happening over here. First step is you're going to select your accessory or whatever it is in object mode. I'm still going to select the cap or this one. Yeah, so hair is already moving along because that's only one mesh. We have to do it with the uh, cap. But you want to know that even for the hair, the process is the same because it's a mesh at the end of the day. So object mode, select the cap. Okay, you know, make sure that it has no vertex groups active. And for that, I have to make myself smaller. Bring this here. In this tab here, vertex groups. This green color thing, you will see that there are no vertex groups on this mesh called cap. And I select that and shift select my rig. And now I'm going to say control P, but object automatic army with empty groups, not automatic weights as of now. Okay, I'm going to do it with empty groups. Now what you want to do is you want to select the base mesh, which is responding or working with the rig. And you want to shift select the cap. And now you want to enter the weight paint mode. 
and you want to come in here and say weights transfer weights and over here there is this one layer one thing here from active layer you have to change the source layers to by name and that is all that has to be done you want to come into object mode now select the rig go into pose mode now if you select the rig and try moving it along you'll see the cap is moving like it should oh there are two caps here which is this cap extra cap cap and there is a read to cap now just to show you one more example what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and pair into the bag as well or let's say first the t-shirt and i'm going to do shift select the rig and do control okay first you want to make sure that the t-shirt doesn't have any vertex ropes yeah here you see the t-shirt has a bunch of vertex ropes so you want to simply come in here and select this drop down and say delete all groups so it's empty okay there's no action happening here now with this t-shirt selected you want to select the rig say control p with empty groups now you want to select the mesh then the shirt then tab into weight paint weights and transfer weights and that will be retained by name so now if i take my rig go into the pose mode and try moving this you'll see that the t-shirt is moving along which is so amazing now i'm not gonna waste so much time here it's already under eight minutes so this process has to be repeated for more accessories that you have in for the bag behind and you know the, the scarf kind of thing here now the next thing i want to show you the second point is how to use node wrangler to quickly locate all textures so i will tell you as a matter of fact over here a lot of the things i haven't uh, modeled myself like for the hotel outfit yeah for this hotel outfit there was a purse so for this purse i actually just used the curve and i made it into a mesh uh, like a sling and this and this little thing is a cube with subdivision surface on it and i made that myself but most of the time you want to take help from online websites like cgtrader.com and all these other places where you can just get good 3d assets uh, to begin with and then just work around with them now there's a lot of things you have to do in order to make sure that they are low poly and they are not uh, very heavy on the system and things like those and i'll go that and go over that in probably in a future video but here i want to show you uh, another important thing this bag here because of course i don't want to sit and model this bag uh, with all these details and everything even if i do it's not going to look as pretty as it is here so if you come into the shading tab what usually happens is when you download a model like this you will get the bag where is the bag here backpack you will get a source where there'll be this is how this was like if you get a blend file then it is fine it's everything is embedded you just copy that and paste it into your scene but if it is like this where obj and mtl is a separate thing and there is an images called folder called images you will have to manually come in here and uh, select all of your materials like by materials i mean these all these maps so color normal height metal everything and that is going to be very very tedious right so i'm going to show you a very easy way to do that you see all these textures and everything they can just come automatically with this trick in the node wrangler i'm going to just delete all of this so let's say you just have your basic principle bsdf shader on it f4 preferences preferences add-ons node wrangler just enable this and save your preferences now selecting this control shift t you want to navigate to the folder where you have all of your textures so in this case the images folder is press a to select all and just see principal textured setup now what this has done is automatically it has put the base color into the base color the metallic into the metallic the roughness into the roughness normal through a normal map into the normal displacement into a displacement node which is going into material output displacement so all of this node wrangler has done for you without any worries so that is the next beautiful thing that i learned and that pretty much covers everything that i have to cover one thing i want to do is give credit for where i've learned these things from i want to make sure that my screen is actually visible yes so uh, the first credit is to this guy thank you so much tld studios uh, he shows how i showed you that method of transfer weights in weight paint mode so that was that and the second credit goes to the what's up guys the uh, cg essentials here and uh, he shows how you what i just show control showed control shift t situation i think that is pretty much all i had to document today i have just hit 12 minutes so right now there is a lot that i'm learning i've actually shared these three images onto the group and there hasn't been like any 
negative feedback of sorts. Now the only important thing I have to figure is how I'm gonna rig uh, the character fully and by fully I mean the fingers because the fingers are not a thing yet and uh, the facial expressions that's gonna be a bit of a challenge but and that's where the fun is right the flow state the skill set is exactly matching the challenge level and uh, i'm just so looking forward to seeing how this and i was just thinking about this before hitting record that if i happen to make a make this animation the way i am thinking about it this is a dream that i had in 2018 so six years in the process i've come to a point where i'm living my dream of making full-fledged 3d animations like basically whatever is in my mind i can I can do that in like a 3D software and uh, that's why life right now is extremely beautiful. On that note, I would like to end today's session. Thank you so much for being in the court. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.